Hey guys, our lesson today is going to be in the book of Luke. Luke is in the New Testament and Luke was a doctor. He was a friend of Peter's and he wanted to write about Jesus and we're so glad he did, aren't we? So go grab your Bible. We're going to spend a few minutes talking about Luke chapter 10, starting in about verse 30, and we're going to learn the story about the Good Samaritan. One day, a very smart person who knew a whole lot about God's Word stood up and asked Jesus what he had to do to inherit eternal life. And Jesus said, well, you know what God's Word says. What do you think? And the man said, you must love the Lord your God with your heart, your soul, your strength, and your mind, and you must love your neighbor as yourself. And Jesus said, yes, good job, now go do it. But then the man, who was kind of wanting to trick Jesus, said, but who is my neighbor? Now, don't you think he probably realized who his neighbor was? He did, didn't he? We know who our neighbors are. It's everybody. It's people we live near. It's people we see at the store. It's people we go to school with. It's people who play the video games with us. It's everybody is our neighbor. And this man was trying to trick Jesus when he said, who is my neighbor? And Jesus told a very beautiful parable. And a parable is an earthly story with a heavenly meaning. And it's a beautiful story to help us understand God and Jesus and how to love God and Jesus and love other people better. So Jesus told the story about the Good Samaritan. Now, do you remember a few weeks ago we talked about the woman at the well and we said that she lived in Samaria and the Jewish people didn't like the people who lived in Samaria very much. They didn't like them because of where they lived. Can you believe that? Did you know that sometimes there are people who don't like other people because of where they live or how they dress or where how they speak or maybe if their skin is different or if their hair is different? Jesus wanted us to know that everybody is our neighbor and we're supposed to love and be kind to everybody. So he told this beautiful story in the book of Luke chapter 10, starting in about verse 30. So grab your Bible, we're gonna read it together. The Good Samaritan. A man was walking a long way. While he walked, some mean men grabbed him, hurt him, and took all of his money. The man lay hurting on the ground. He couldn't even get up. But soon, an important leader walked by. The hurt man laid there waiting for help, but the leader didn't help him. He just walked on by. The hurt man groaned. He hurt all over his body. But now another man came near. He stopped and he looked at the hurt man, and the hurt man was laying there waiting for help, but the second man walked on by too. The hurt man could only lay on the ground, but then he heard a clippity-clop sound. A donkey stopped. Another man got off the donkey. This man put medicine on the man's sores. He bandaged his cuts. He put the hurt man on the donkey and brought him to a safe place. He paid money to be sure that the hurt man would be taken care of. The man on the donkey showed God's love. He was kind to the hurt man. God loves everyone and he wants us to show others his love. Don't you love that story? I love that story too. And I read that story out of our beginner's Bible. But for my friends who may have a Bible that looks something like this, I want you to look in verse 36 of Luke 10. Now, this is Jesus speaking. And he said, now which of these three men would you say was a neighbor to the man who was attacked by those mean guys? And the man who had asked the question said, the one who showed him mercy. And then Jesus said, yes, now you go and do the same. Jesus knew that if we follow Jesus and we love Jesus, then we have to love other people and we have to show them mercy. And mercy is kindness that people may not deserve, but it's a kind of kindness and love and forgiveness and compassion 
that God gives. Now, grown-ups, you know there's a lot of turmoil going on in our world right now. It is on the news, it is on social media, it is everywhere. But as Christ followers, we have an obligation, a responsibility, a beautiful opportunity to radically love other people, especially in this time where it's dark and there's a lot of chaos and confusion. To love somebody, to speak words of light and truth and peace on the platforms that we have is what we're called to do, to proclaim the name of Jesus in the darkness that is what will bring other people to him. And that's why we're here. So that's why I love this story about the Good Samaritan. I love how Jesus kept redirecting people's thoughts back to loving God and loving others. That is our purpose in life. That is the plan. That is what it means to follow Jesus. Our memory verse for the month of July has been Philippians chapter 4, verse 6. Here in this book of joy that was written in a prison cell, the Apostle Paul reminds the church at Philippi, don't worry. Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. And don't you love that? And don't we need that at a time like this? Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Philippians 4, Six. That's been the verse that I have been writing and I have been speaking to myself and I encourage you write that verse down for your family. Hold on to that verse this month. Talk about it. Talk about it in the car. I know sports has started back up. Talk about that when you're out. Talk about how the, the world wants us to worry and we are prone to worrying. I'm a really good worrier but God says don't worry about anything. Instead pray about it anything and everything and God knew we were gonna worry so if we do and we struggle with that that's okay we're not sinning but we know that God can get us through so keep God's Word in the forefront keep God's Word in front of your children write it down on a post-it note and think about the words do not worry about anything instead pray about everything in our lesson today, that poor man who had been beaten up and been hurt, he needed a superhero, didn't he? And he got one. It was someone who he might not have been friends with in regular life because Jewish people and Samaritan people weren't always friends. But a Samaritan man stopped and helped him. And in this story, Jesus taught us that we are to love everybody and anybody and we are to go out of our way to help people and to show them kindness so let's be thinking about some ways and some people that we could show kindness to this week let's pray this week and let's ask god to put someone in our path that we can bless that we can help that we can show mercy to let's be more like jesus and when we are it's going to make the entire world a better place so I hope you have a great week. I hope you use this in your family. If you have questions, if you have ideas, let me know and let's make the world better by blessing people.